Hello, welcome back to IT Landy. Uh, so far, we created VM, Windows VM, we did the WSL installation, then we created another VM to host our agent, and then we created SSH key, we connected the agent. Now, we will start uh, on task number seven, we will complete the build of the agent setup, yeah? Again, go back to the WSL window that has SSH connection established. Update the Ubuntu package, install the kernel and support repo over HTTPS in single steps as below. This is the command sudo apt get update and sudo install the transport HTTP certificate software. No, assuming you have internet. If you don't have no internet, then uh, you need to get this on the private, like, you know, uh, uh, repo. Yeah. Add Docker official uh, GPG key by typing the following command and something like this. Please pay attention to this so many commands now. curl hyphen fs l http download docker linux ubuntu gpg and then uh, pipeline sudo apt alt key. Basically, that will go to, you can see it goes to Docker and it grab the GPG for you. Add Docker stable repo to your Ubuntu package by typing the following command again in single line. sudo add apt repo dev. I'm using Arch. This is the version. Yeah. Of Docker and then LSP release CS stable. Update the Ubuntu package and install Docker engine, node.js and node package manager in single step by typing the following command line. When asked, you would like to proceed, say yes. So what we did, we installed the GPG so we can trust it. We download it, we install the Docker and the 64 AMD version. Next, we are doing the uh, Node.js Docker uh, uh, engine, which we need them through this command sudo apt get update sudo install docker ce node.js npm. Yeah, after the installation, we need to upgrade in case they are old. Yeah, so what will happen? We run the following command and it say yes. I mean, I'm doing typing yes, yes, because you can force as well. Yeah, but yeah, sudo apt get upgrade and that should be upgrading the versions when the command has completed check the docker version installed by executing this command the output should something look like that or one below type docker version and that will give you the version api number the go version git commit build because we got it from and then the os type is arch we said linux arch you know if you're not familiar with arch and it's very lightweight and the amd version okay and then uh, you may check the version of your Node.js as well. You do Node.js hyphen hyphen version, npm hyphen version as well, yeah? And then uh, what you can do, you can add your user to the Docker group that you do not have ev uh, elevated permission with sudo, yeah? For every command, you or you can ignore the error in the output. You see the output other in the black screen? It says, got permission denied with it trying to connect to the docker daemon socket yeah it requires the sudo so we can do sudo user mode hyphen ag docker and then user that will basically uh, add the account and hopefully you don't need to run you don't need to run the sudo every time you are using this something like that yeah sudo user mod hyphen ag docker user in order for the user permission change to take effect you need to exit the ssh session by typing exit then press enter then repeat the command in task six basically to connect again securely and continue with the build from step four you can run the version again and this time you see we don't get access denied because we are running in sudo okay docker version we've added the account we made an admin and now we are running docker 
then run a couple of commands just to make sure your docker is up and running healthy by for example docker container ls that will display the all the you know running basically uh, surfaces or you know list everything and then you can run the slash a it will tell you if it's run or it stopped you know the surface in both cases you will have an empty list but no error running the command your build agent is ready for docker engine running properly now if you are seeing errors you have to go to step one and repeat everything please make sure your public rsa is correct correct created and pasted otherwise this is a crucial part you can't log on yeah two we said like running the command prereq yeah we installed docker yeah we installed node npm then we run a command to upgrade them and then the last part is we run a command to see the version and we got some access denied then we added the user account by running some sudo to that user account to the allow the account to run the command with the privilege access yeah and then we came back here and then this time we just run the ls to see uh, if the services are listed and slash a to make sure they are running or they are stopped okay that's all i have for you for this session next we will continue with eight thank you for watching and goodbye for now